So welcome. Now we will talk about volumes in Houdini Solaris and Renderman. And the most important thing that you need to know is that Renderman is not able to directly render volumes. So the traditional uh, scene import option will not work in that situation. So jumping back to here, um, you have to convert your volume that you created to a VDB file with a VDB convert or directly uh, create a VDB file. And then you have to bake it out as a VDB file. So also sequences. It will not work on BGO and so on. You have to use the VDB method. In the scene, we have um, a cloud already placed in this demonstration. This cloud was created by Oliver Grotenroff for this tutorial series. It's a real size cloud. And I have loaded the VDB file itself. So we have them here. And I provided a name, it's the cloud. And I have assigned a shader to the cloud. And it looks like that. And then you have to write density into that here. And those are the basic values. I will, uh, I will check the multi scattering option. And I will choose the multi scatter optimize. When you want to know more about volume shading itself. I made a tutorial last year about volumes, I think in December. And yeah, there you will get more information and on detailing and details about volume shading itself. It's the same in here. So I have assigned the volume to the cloud. And I also created a render geometry settings based on the primitive on the primitive for the cloud. And here I have cranked up the maximum diffuse depth so that the light will scatter more around for 20 times inside of this volume. And I also uh, changed the minimum length. So I cranked up the value to 10. And this will essentially decrease the accuracy of the volume rendering. So higher values will lower the volume quality and lower values will make the quality a lot better. But of course it will render a lot longer and require more RAM. In general, the value of five to 10 is what I usually use in every production. Minimum length of 10 and we did that and now I will try to render this cloud. And as you can see, it starts really, really fast. Um, mostly because of this um, high minimum length value. This is basically the same like the dicing value for geometry, the micro polygon length on displacements. And it looks quite nice for now. What we can do to reduce some of the noise and to help the render engine a lot more. What we can do is we can go into the shader itself and here we can dial down the shadow density multiplier. This will help RenderMan to bring more light into the volume and this not has to be traced. So I can move this down and as you can see more light scatters through the volume. We can, of course, um, dial down the diffuse depth because random men don't need to scatter anymore in this intensity to light up the volume. So we can go down to like I say eight. It's not physical correct, of course, but it will render a lot faster. So we can even go down to four, well, maybe five. five. Five would be better. So we will have some additional small detail and you see it's rendering a lot faster. And I can even go further down. And this is looking really nice. It looks like a cloud, maybe something like that. 
difference to non-multi-scattering is this. So this is non-multi-scattering. But of course, this value works also here. But yeah, this looks, it, it has no life anymore. So let us do this. And here, we also can crank up the density. Uh, it needs to recalculate, so now we have larger density. And it looks like a cloud, it looks nice, so those volumes are really great. There is something that you have to keep in mind. Um, there is a new way of rendering volumes, and this is called volume aggregate, or aggregated volumes. When you work with aggregated volumes, you have to make sure that the render engine itself or the renderer lob has this global volume aggregated uh, thing activated right in here. So the path needs to be that, that's the variable. And you also have to um, enable it with the render geometry settings. So here you can, here you have to move to volume aggregate, set or grade, and this is everything that you need to know. It has some benefits and also some disadvantages. You need to check this by yourself. So, and yeah, this is everything that you need to know about volumes. In the tutorial session later, we will use those volumes to um, place them in our scene. So, see you in the next chapter.